Health and workers' comp insurers, as well as regulators, have a vested interest in trying to control the cost of health care, including the use of prescription drugs. 18 states have enacted reforms that put limits on the expensive practice of doctors writing and dispensing prescriptions from their office. A study by the Workers' Compensation Research Institute, however, found that some physicians are finding ways around the restrictions. Here to tell us more about this study is WCRI economist Dong Chung Wang. Tell me, what's the report all about and what are the major findings? Well, before I get into the major findings, let me just set up a stage a little bit. Uh, physician dispensing, this is probably not a strange word, uh, phrase, but uh, it, it's basically about physicians uh, dispensing drugs to their patients at their offices and charging and get paid much higher prices. You won't see this in a lot of places, but in workers' comp, it's pretty prevalent. Uh, and in recent years, because of the higher cost of physician dispensing, the, uh, there are 18 states actually uh, made changes to their reimbursement rules to cap the prices paid for physician dispensed repackaged drugs. So uh, it's basically the mechanism is like uh, to try to get reference price, lower reference price. So when you, uh, when you decided how to pay, how to reimburse the repackaged drugs, you can get lower reference price and pay at that price instead of paying higher prices for the repackaged drugs. We saw the price reduction, which is consistent with the, um, the goals of the reforms. But we also saw something like some physician dispensers, especially in California and Illinois, they find a new way to continue to dispense the medications and get paid much higher. Prior to 2012, the, uh, prior to reform, the most common uh, strength for cyclobenzaprine uh, has been five milligrams and 10 milligrams. 10 milligrams. The uh, cyclobenzaprine is a mu basically a muscle relaxant. It re uh, helps you to release muscles and reduce pain. So, um, as I said, there um, in the marketplace, you would commonly see five and 10 milligram cyclobin cyclobenzaprine. But after the reforms, we started seeing this seven and a half milligrams getting in the market and quickly uh, picked up by some physician dispensers. When they dispensed this uh, drug product, they were paid much higher prices, uh, two to three times higher than what they would be paid for the five and 10 milligrams. What are the implications of this report? So if you're thinking about uh, workers' compensation payers and employers and injured workers, uh, it, this, this result basically means that it's increased cost. But whether those new strength drug products, they provide clinical benefits, we do not know, but we haven't seen uh, any studies that suggest it so. But I think most importantly, the uh, the, it really raises question about the effectiveness and sustainability of the, the recent reforms on physician dispensing. Although the phenomenon, we see that only in California and uh, Illinois, uh, as we reported in the, in the study, but for some other uh, reform states, it's, it could also be an issue if it's not get addressed. How did you come up with the study and go about getting the data? Well, this study is not really by design. We were in the process of evaluating the, uh, the, the impact of physician dispensing reforms for several states we were evaluating. And because of the goal of the reforms, you would expect to see price reduction for physician dispensed, uh, especially repackaged drugs, which was what we saw, the substantial price reduction. But we also saw something that is very different in post-reform Illinois, which is none of us really expected to see. The average price um, per pill paid to physicians for several common drugs, instead of decreasing, they actually increased. So we dug deeper into the data, and that's where we found those new stress drug products that are uh, behind this phenomenon. What's been the reaction to the study? In the states, in California and Illinois, for which we reported those major findings, um, 
policymakers and stakeholders, they are looking into the issues and trying to find solutions. And outside those two states, some started uh, to discuss, uh, to have discussions about what can be done to address this issue preemptively. Fascinating report. Thanks so much for sharing. Thank you. Thank you again for having me. For a full copy of the WCRI report on physician dispensing reforms, visit the Workers' Compensation Research Institute website.